Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bienvenido o bienvenida a esta lección. Hoy vamos a ver las diferencias entre B y V en español. So, hello. Today we're going to be looking at the difference between B and V in Spanish. Now, a lot of the times I see students making the mis mistake of pronouncing this V in Spanish um, as we would in English. That is, in English, B and V make different sounds, right? B, V. Whereas in Spanish, the sounds that B and V make are exactly the same. Now, sometimes there are a few uh, exceptions. We have what we would call the hard B or the soft B. Now, the, or excuse me, the hard sound or the soft sound. Now, the reason that we're not going to go over that in today's lesson is because, frankly, it's just going to confuse you more, okay? When you're speaking Spanish, you're not going to think, huh, is this going to be the hard B or the soft B? It's just going to get confusing, okay? You're not going to be able to think of that on the fly when you're having a conversation with someone, right? So I want to teach you practical knowledge here, something that's actually going to help you make your accent sound better and easier to understand native Spanish speakers, okay? So, B, V, okay? The exact same sounds here. Burro, B, burro, okay? That means donkey, right? Burro. Burro, okay? Now we come down here. Vino, b, b, vino, okay? This could mean wine, but it can also mean uh, he came or she came, okay? It came, okay? B, V, burro, besar, to kiss, besar, okay? Beber, beber, okay? To drink. Vino, wine. Vivir, vivir. Okay, to live, vivir, okay? Visual, visual, all right? So that's it, okay? Same exact sounds here. It's not vino, okay? It's not vivir or visual, v, v, no, right? V, 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 okay? Visual, vivir, vino, okay? Beber, besar, burro, okay? You could interchange these. I could put a B in front of this. All of these, right? And it would make the same sounds. Vino, vivir, visual. Same thing up here. I could put V's in front of here. Burro, besar, beber. It would make the same sounds. Okay? All right. So, we have a few words in the Spanish language um, that are spelled pretty much exactly the same, except botar, botar. We have a B here and a V here. Okay? But other than that, everything's exactly the same. So, how do we tell when we're listening to Spanish? The difference between botar and botar, because they sound exactly the same. Context clues. Now, if you've watched my other videos on this channel, then you'll understand the importance of context clues in the Spanish language, okay? But if I say, oh, mañana voy a votar para quien sea el presidente. I'm going to vote for whoever's the president or whoever becomes the president, right? You're going to understand that I'm talking about votar, okay? Meaning to vote. As opposed to botar, meaning to throw, okay, botar. Okay, sending here, bate versus bate, same exact pronunciation. Bate, right, meaning a bat, bate versus bate, meaning a bard or a poet, someone who, uh, you know, says poetry, okay? Now, frankly, I'll be honest, a lot of times you're, you're not going to hear this word, um, and you'll, in my opinion, you'll more often hear botar versus botar, but these are still... You know, used more or less somewhat frequently in Spanish. Okay, but that's it. So, all you need to understand after this lesson is these make the same exact sound. B and V in Spanish make the same sound, okay? B, U, V, okay? All right, so let's go over here. This is going to be kind of fun. All right, so here I've written out a little tongue twister for you so that you can practice uh, your B and U, V sound, okay? Now, I want you to go through this with me, okay? So we're gonna go slow. Um, I'll read through it first, and then we'll go through it again. I want you to say it with me, okay? Hugo tuvo un tubo, pero el tubo que tuvo se le rompió. Para recuperar el tubo que tuvo, tuvo que comprar un tubo igual al tubo que tuvo. Okay, pretty fun. All right, so let's go through it slowly. I want you to say it with me, okay? Hugo Tuvo, tuvo, right? Un tubo. Pero el tubo 
que tuvo se le rompió. Para recuperar el tubo que tuvo, tuvo que comprar un tubo igual al tubo que tuvo. ¿Ok? Alright, so there's an awesome little tongue twister. Most times tongue twisters just are a bunch of gibberish. This one actually makes some sense, more or less. We can translate it for you. Okay, so Hugo had a tube or a pipe, but the pipe or tube that he had broke. In order to get back the tube or pipe that he had, he had to buy a tube or pipe like the tube that he had. Okay, so kind of a funny one. All right, so I'll say it again one more time. Hugo tuvo un tubo, pero el tubo que tuvo se le rompió. Para recuperar el tubo que tuvo, tuvo que comprar un tubo igual al tubo que tuvo. Okay, pretty fun. Try to say that one fast. It's a good one. All right, so what's the, the overarching lesson here? V and V in Spanish make the same sound, okay? B, B, V, okay? Same exact sound going on here, okay? So practice this tongue twister, okay? Maybe take a look at these words again. Practice these. Okay, but that's it. Okay, so don't overcomplicate it. Don't worry about, oh, is this a hard sound or a soft sound? Okay, don't don't worry about that. Okay, all you need to know is that they make the same sounds. Okay, besar, vino. Burro, vivir. Visual, beber. Okay, same exact sound. Be, be, be. Okay, so really practice that. Also, if you haven't seen my lesson on how to have a more native pronunciation when speaking Spanish, check that out because I talk about the importance of pronouncing your vowels properly in Spanish, okay? I have a whole video dedicated to that topic, uh, and it's really important if you want to have a more native accent and also be able to easier understand native Spanish speakers. Bueno, muchas gracias por ver esta lección y nos vemos en la siguiente. Thanks so much for watching this video lesson, and I will see you in the next one. Adiós.